nine, eight. You want to see the experience, comic six, culture, and sales. Five, Streaming live daily four, to Facebook, YouTube, three, Twitch, and Twitter. Two, one. Welcome to the Invincible Show, the show without any flaws, problems, issues, anything at all. Um, except for the fact that I haven't watched the Invincible Show. Let's get into these books. Yell at me. Hey everybody, welcome to the Invincible Show on Fat Jack's Comic Crypt, live on the experience right this very moment. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a lovely weekend, lovely Sunday. Um, Jason, I don't know what, <laughs> can you claim what? All of this? Everything? Um, we have very little Invincible stock left. I'm trying to blow it all out today, guys. So please, if there's any Invincible issues you're missing, anything you're looking for, get them now. Um, this will be the first you know, chunk of the show probably won't take us a long time, but, uh, yeah, we're going to get into some invincible books. If you claim anything, please type claim the title of the book and the number. So I know what you are interested in. Please send PayPal payments. Uh, that's what we take here, uh, at FJC Mike at Comcast.net shipping is $9 unless you guys hit a hundred dollars or more. Now I'm just going to claim. Now what? Just going to claim. The, the the problem with like live stream like chats is like <laughs> I knew you're gonna I knew you're gonna do something like that. I was gonna say is not hearing the inflection. I'm sipping on a um dragon fruit pomegranate lemonade from Shake Shack. Finally got to try their um, Korean menu. That was gonna be a limited time, but. Seems like it's been on going on for like two months. Um, let me know what you guys are watching, what you guys are reading these days. I uh, just watched Fallout episode one last night. Surprisingly, uh, surprisingly good. The um, the now I don't, don't want to call it the editing, but I guess the sequencing was a little strange. It kind of just threw three stories um, into. Uh, into the first episode, just kind of set up a bunch of stuff, but it didn't really, I, I wish they were cutting in between stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, I never played the fallout games. My friends love them. Um, so I'm glad that a video game fan is actually a fan of the show. I didn't know what the overlap was going to be there, but yeah, um, surprisingly very good. First episode. I'm definitely invested. Definitely interested. It was a long episode. It was well over an hour. I watched the whole season already. <laughs> I don't know how you people have time for this much TV. I just no, don't get it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to keep watching that. But yeah, let me know what you guys have been into. All right, uh, Invincible. I'm just going to go in order of the issues that I have here. Invincible number 81. This is a beautiful, very fine near mint copy. These are like very fine near mints at uh, at the lowest. All these invincible books in general, I would say. Passive watching, just watching in the background. See, I can't do that. I, I just I'm not going to absorb anything at all. Uh, anyway, this is invincible number 81. Ten bucks for this very fine near mint copy. Please get rid of our remaining invincible stock. I also have some trades if people are looking for any particular. Uh, trade paperback volumes of Invincible. Let me know. All right, 81. Next up, I got Invincible 83. Issue 83. Very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Invincible. That's right. I haven't watched the show. Please yell at me and... <laughs> Please yell at me and... Um, Spoil it for me in the comments below. What y'all think of the latest X-Men 97 episode? No spoilers, but your general thoughts. 
Like, did you I, like it? I haven't watched. Was it good? I haven't. I'm gonna watch it tonight, but I haven't watched the latest episode of X Men '97 yet. It's really good. Just Invincible see. number eighty-five. Eighty-five. It's a little bit better as far as the corners go. Near mint minus for ten bucks. Ten bucks. Invincible one hundred. This is a variant cover by Mark Silvestri. The death of everyone. Or wait, is this the yeah, death of everyone part one should be. Anyway, very fine year meant for ten bucks. Cool variant cover of issue one hundred. What day is it? Sunday. No, no, no. What, what's the day? The fourteenth. Fourteenth. Issue one oh five of Invincible. Very fine year meant for ten bucks. When did season two end? Of Invincible? Zach? Mm -hmm. When did season two of Invincible end? Like a week or two ago? A week or two ago. A week or two? Hasn't been long. How did everyone like the second season? Invincible 114. Very fine near mint for 10 bucks. I like this one. It's kind of like a reference to an older horror mag. This cover. It's a lot of fun. For Ten bucks. Invisible 117. The only superhero comic book you will ever need. Very fine near mint. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. Smash that like button. Demolish that subscribe button. So loud. Invincible number 121. VF Plus. Got a couple spine ticks. Just a couple though. VF Plus for five bucks. Five bucks. And just like that, this is the last Invincible issue. Wasn't that a great Invincible show, guys? Invincible 124 BF Plus for five bucks. Five bucks. Like I said, I also have trades. If anyone's interested, but really, I'd rather get into this new collection that we just got yesterday or Friday. Later. So I'm going to do that. Um, what order here? This is like this, All right? 114, 117, 121, 124, 105. Okay, bye bye to those comics. Green Lantern 25. Super size finale from this volume. This is the first appearance of Atrocitus and Larflees, the leaders of the Red and Orange Lantern Corps, respectively. This is a really fun book, and this is just a really great era of Green Lantern. Blackest Night, it's an amazing event, as I'm sure you all know. So this is a nice little key, introducing a couple of those core leaders. This is going to be a very fine near mint copy for just 15 bucks. 15 bucks on that one. Here's what I'm going to do just to be annoying and, and have some suspense. What printing is it, guys? Any guesses? Any guesses in the comments below? What printing of Killing Joke is this? If you know it, just <laughs> 900. If you know it from the color... I'd be very impressed. This is a near mint copy. This is in beautiful, beautiful shape for just 15 bucks. Just 15 bucks. Oh, and it's funny because you can't even see in the frame here now. You can't see what printing that is. That's, that's clickbait if I've ever seen it. 
27th. Uh, so close. Guys, we're getting so close. I'll reveal, I'll reveal the printing number. But all you need to know right now is that it's it's an original, you know, it's like from that first uh, 20 batches, right? Uh, for 15 bucks near mint. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie. The movie. Look at this lovely book right here. Um, very fine near mint for 15 bucks. Yeah, just the back. Sure. Yeah, no problem. I got you, Jason. Yeah, no problem. I got you. It's suggested for mature readers, so you're not allowed to read this if you're not mature. No immature buyers, please. You're not mature. Sounds like something an immature person would say. No, you. Um, but yeah, this is in beautiful shape, guys. Near mint was my assessment. <laughs> my mom says it's cool. I'm big. All right, what about any Zaniac fans out there? Not Creeper. This is Zaniac. All right, don't get it confused. <laughs> Thor 319. This is a fine plus copy for three bucks. Nova number two. This is a Frank Avila variant cover. Very fine near mint for 35 bucks. 35 bucks. Very nice cover here featuring Sam and Richard. <laughs> Got a nice exclusive variant right here. This is a very nice virgin variant by David Nakayama of X Men 2, I think. Should have wrote it on the front. Yeah, X Men 2. X Men number 2 from. Second Hickman volume. Near Mint Minus for 20 bucks. This is in lovely shape. Personally, I'm a big fan of those David Nakayama variants where he had like the, I guess you would call it like two tone, tri tone kind of covers. X Men number two. Did anybody see that guy behind me? That was scary. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Zach floating head fly by. So true, Fred. So true. It was sixth print, guys. You were all wrong. Feel bad. Feel bad about yourselves. Sixth print of Killing Joke. <laughs> Hey, Steve and Spock. How you doing? TMNT is going to be replaced by this lovely, ugly cover of X-Force 48. Lovely uh, variant. Very fine near mint. Nine bucks. Nine bucks. All right. How about Marvel Meow? Marvel Meow number one. Nice little Lion King homage right here. Near mint minus 20 bucks. You're as surprised as I am that this is 20 bucks. I'm as surprised as you are, rather. We're closed. Zaniac will be replaced by Marvel Meow. Zach has a lot of cleaning work to do today, so I wouldn't wasn't gonna have anyone available on the floor. 
while I did, did the show. Detective Comics number 27. Uh, just kidding. This is the Batman, um, 85 years of Batman anniversary facsimile special edition, but people are still paying for it, which is, uh, sure is something, especially cause I've, they've reprinted it so many times. This is a near mint copy for 20 bucks near mint sparkling. Excellent. Amazing. Any idea of when that was made? Whenever was... Batman had his 85 year anniversary. I don't know. I don't remember. 1939. Yeah, 1939 plus 85. 44 plus 80. I'm going to let David do the math. 220? 2020? 2020. Right? Is that what you said? Because uh, 39, four, so 61. Uh, it's 85, uh, 61, uh, 24. Why am I getting? Jeez. I used to be so good at math. This, this is terrible. Okay, here at number 36 from Epic Comics. This is a fine plus copy for 35 bucks. 35 bucks. Classic book right here. Chock full. Look at that. You sure can. Even though I already put it away. Oh, 2023. Thank you, Steve. I refuse to use a calculator. I wanted to make David do all the, the heavy lifting. Jason, these are for you. Thank you for the claim. We appreciate it. I was afraid no one's gonna was gonna claim that Zania. Very important character appearance. That's funny, this bag is Jason's again. I'm reusing bag because we're running low. <laughs> 2023. Uh, so that's really recent. I didn't even realize they did that so recently. Celebrated 85 years. Such an unsatisfying number to me. Marvel Spotlight, number six from 1980. This is The Origin of Star Lord. This is a really fun book. This is going to be a VG Plus copy for 10 bucks. It's also technically the first appearance of Star-Lord in a regular comic format. Previously, he was only appeared in magazine formats. So, yeah, get a little origin for Star-Lord. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number nine. Is the first appearance of the first white tiger. It's a bit of a lower grade copy, VG plus. The top, the worst of it is just that the um, there's a small crease on the bottom corner there that you can kind of see, but the worst of it is this uh, chewed up top bit there. Oops, you can kind of see that. Anyway, VG plus, just fifteen bucks. Oh, and yeah, this is also. Um, uh, Tech, sorry, first White Tiger in a regular comic format is what I should say. Because this is um, a character who originally showed up at Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, which was also a magazine. So, but yeah, fun book, 15 bucks. Nice little Spidey key. I got a few more Spidey keys coming up very shortly, right after the break. Don't go anywhere.
What do you call the place on Spider-Man's wrists where the webs come out? His website. I hate myself for writing that joke, but you'd make me feel so much better if you just visited our website. We have links to our merch, new release lists, all the show info, and so much more. TheExpLive.com By this time in our journey, we had been on the trail of a very elusive creature for about 96 hours. But all the hard work is about to pay off. Oh, crikey, there she is. Oh, by the markings, I'd say this one's at least a 9.8. Oh, she's a real beauty. A true mint copy. Oh, this one will make a fine slab on anyone's display wall. Oh, she's a feisty one, though. Look, oh, look out, look out. Mint Hunter Comics is the place to find that mint comic you've been searching for. Mint Hunter Comics, Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, part of the experience. In a world where you hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. That'd be really great, thanks. Hey everybody, welcome back to Fat Jack's Comic Crypt, live on the experience right now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Life Genesis, uh, uh, you're going to have to let me run to the corner and uh, grab a Coke and a hoagie. <laughs> a rare Twitch uh, audience member, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> all right, I said I had more Spidey keys, guys, all right, so and, and I, I, I will deliver. This is Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man 24. Do you know what that is? It's the first appearance of Hypno Hustler. That's right. Classic D-list Spidey villain. This is a newsstand copy. This is a fine plus. Fine plus copy for 15 bucks. 15 bucks. Get your Hypno Hustler. Get your White Tiger. I had a, another copy of this book on the show a couple weeks ago, but this is a different copy, and this is a really fun book. This is a copy of Captain America and the Falcon. 172, fine slash very fine is the grade. $10 is the price. <laughs> yeah, especially because uh, he showed up as um, Prowler in the uh, Across the Spider-Verse. I guess they're not to, uh, doing a Hypno Hustler. Too bad. Missed opportunity. Another cap book is cap 176. This is a fine copy for just five bucks. Captain America Must Die is the name of this story. Leaving the Avengers, leaving the mantle of Cap behind is a big uh, Cap issue, landmark Cap issue. Just five bucks for this copy, guys. That's a pretty good price for a great story. Crispin Glover? Crispin Glover. <laughs> Play Miles, make a Deadpool cartoon. I didn't know he was going to make a Deadpool cartoon. I didn't hear about that. <laughs> this is a book I didn't know much about, but this is a really fun Punisher cover of, of Bullseye by Frank Terran. This is Punisher 102. This is a fine slash very fine copy for $45. 
This is a low print run. And this is just an amazing cover. I really enjoy it. The Deadly Return of the One and Only Bullseye. Punisher 102. 45. Buckaroos. Well, it's the key, so I'm going to put it up here. He's the reason Miles exists. Can't tell if you're joking or not. All right, here's a key. Marvel premiere number 19 featuring Iron Fist. This is a fine slash very fine copy of the first appearance of Colleen Wing. First appearance of Colleen Wing. We are asking 30 bucks for this. This also has a uh, Wolverine preview in Incredible of uh, Incredible Hulk 181. I guess I don't know what you mean then, Jason. Why is he the reason that Miles exists? It's that's right, guys. Marvel Premiere 19 is the true first appearance of Wolverine <laughs> from the wilderness. From the wilderness reaches of Canada comes a dreaded, deadly Wolverine. But is he hero or the most dangerous new supervillain ever? Find out in Hulk 181. But yeah, so that book's cool for a couple of reasons. Got that nice Wolverine ad, and you got first Colleen Wing. I know there's a lot of diehard Colleen Wing fans out there, so now's your chance to claim that book. This one I care about a little bit more because it's a character I care about a little bit more. <laughs> this is Marvel Premiere 21. This is a very fine copy, so pretty nice. And uh, this is the first appearance of Misty Knight. First Misty Knight. Classic hero for hire. This is 45 bucks for the very fine copy. 45 bucks. For later. Funny never knowing what Jason's talking about. <laughs> All-Star Comics number 70 presents the Legendary Justice Society of America. This is a very fine minus copy for 10 bucks as an early Huntress appearance. Newsy, Newsy Stand. Newsy Stand copy. That's one of those ones where, like, some people say first full appearance because technically uh, 69 was her first cameo appearance. It's like one of those cameo slash full debates. I won't debate. I'll just tell you the grade and the price of the book. Very fine minus for 10 bucks. There's Duke. Duke coming in with a claim. Thank you, Duke, for the claim. First Misty Night is yours. Uh, your left, my right, is first Colleen Wing and also a Wolverine preview of Incredible Hulk 181. This is a fine slash very fine book for 30 bucks. You know, dude. They be King Daughters of the Dragon, didn't they? Yep. They are, they are in the Daughters of the Dragon. Four slash fourteen Duke. Thank you for the claim, Duke. Jamil, if that's the one you were asking about, that's that one. If you were asking about the Misty Knight, Duke claimed it already. <laughs> All right, here's a really cool variant cover. This is Batman Beyond number one. This is a New York Comic Con exclusive, limited to a thousand copies by Gabriel Delato. This is a beautiful foil. This is in 
sparkling shape. This is a near mint plus. Near mint plus for 50 bucks. 50 bucks. There's the cert. This is copy 284 of 1000. 50 bucks. I just wanted to know the number. Yeah, this is 19. This is 19. And uh, first Misty Night is in 21. 50 bucks for this shiny book right here. I'm going to swap that out. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And I don't know why it exists, but this is Amazing Spider Man 11. Uh, one per store variant um, partnered with Lugs. And uh, that's just Birdman on the cover with Kingpin. Couldn't tell you why this exists, but it's pretty hilarious. Um, this is a very fine near mint copy for 25 bucks. <laughs> 25, 25. What can I swap out with this? I don't know, so I'm just going to throw it up there for now. Oh, yeah. No, not first Iron Fist. First Iron Fist, I think, is 14. Oh, come here, 14. First Iron Fist. I used to um, memorize those numbers and quiz myself all the time as a kid. I was really good with that kind of thing, but nowadays, not so much. Pretty sure it's 14, though. Uh, here's a random Doom Patrol issue for you. This is the new Doom Patrol. Um, just kidding. It's a showcase issue. DC, DC showcase. Say that five times fast. Uh, number 96, find minus copy for just two bucks. Two bucks. All right. This is a beautiful cover. Obviously, there's a lot of hype behind it right now. 15. Okay. I was so close. Uh, Wolverine number 88 this is a very fine plus copy for 75 bucks. That VF Plus is just because there's a couple spine ticks. This book is uh, beautiful otherwise. 75 bucks. Awesome cover by Adam Kubert. And this is definitely a book that you want to grab before Deadpool 3 comes out. This is the first fight. First fight of Wolverine and Deadpool. I love this cover. It is fantastic. <laughs> Timeless number one, Umberto Ramos cover featuring Miss Minutes. Couldn't tell you why there's so much hype behind Miss Minutes. I think she's annoying. Uh, this is a very fine near mint copy for 20 bucks. Uh, there's about a quarter inch tear at the top of the cover. It's just the cover. You can barely see it. Anyway, that's why it's very fine near mint because that is really the only issue that I see with it. Oh, tire strong. Okay. All right, Duke coming through. This is a lovely book. Thank you for the claim. We appreciate it. That will only go up in value once the movie comes out, I am sure. Because Tara Strong voiced her. Okay. Acceptable answer. <laughs> Acceptable answer. I just, the whole subplot of her being obsessed with Kang in possibly a romantic way in Loki season two was very uncomfortable and I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> but that's just me. Oh, Duke is finally headed back. We got so much, so many goodies here for you, Duke. But drive safe. And thanks for tuning in today. We appreciate your claims today. All right, uh, next up. Really awesome Transformers book. This is from Marvel UK. Transformers Generation 2. 
this is a really, really cool cover, and I will show you why it is such a cool cover. It is because it opens up like this. Show a nice little piece of artwork right there. And then you can open it up like that. But this is just a cool thing that I don't think I've seen very often where it folds out like that straight down the center. So pretty cool. This is a very fine near mint copy for just $7. Seven bucks for a really cool piece of transformers this is a as you can see it's a uk pricing on there as well uh the cover the cover uk price was two pounds and 20 shillings pence <laughs> all right boom Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. Grimjack number 26 is a early TMNT color appearance. Not in black and white. There's a little short story in the back of this book featuring the turtles, and it is in color. This is one where people different. Oh, there we go. All right, Duke. Thank you for the claim. Seven bucks. What a steal. Um, this is one that people kind of debate over what number appearance this is of them in color. So I'm just going to call it an early one. Near Mint Minus for eight bucks. In excellent shape. If you're a Turtles fan, that's definitely a cool book to grab. Oh, yeah. Um, they announced a live action Last Ronin movie, which is pretty nuts. Um, I would have preferred animated, but that's just me. Um, I really enjoyed the style of Mutant Mayhem. Something darker would have been cool like that. Hey, Kenneth, how you doing? Um, but yeah, they announced a live action. I have the full set here. Uh, issues two and three are retailer incentive variant covers. Um, but this is... Uh, I do have the full bundle available for $250. They are all high grades. They are kept very nicely. Um, so if there's any interest in that, I only imagine that's going to go up once the movie comes out. Uh, is it not an R rating? It is R rating, yeah. OK, good. No, I. I I, uh, it should be R-rated, for sure. Um, what I am not so sure about is the live-action thing, because I feel like any um, any uh, live-action Turtles is always going to just be a little bit unnerving just from the, the, the makeup standpoint, you know, like the practical effects standpoint. Like, it's hard to really get into that. Get Transformers Death's Head. I know, um, I know that Marvel UK book you're talking about. Get it for myself or find it in the shop. Uh, hey, Carlos, how you doing? The price on the Timeless book is 20 bucks. It is a very fine near mint copy. Art by Umberto Ramos. If you're really interested in it, I could probably catch you a little bit of a break. Purely because I don't like Miss Minutes and I don't want to look at her. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, 20 bucks, very fine near mint. It's in good shape. Let me know if you're interested. We can work something out. All right. Detective Comics number 523 is the first cameo appearance of Killer Croc. This is a very fine plus copy for 20 bucks. And this issue features Solomon Grundy, which is pretty cool. This is a newsstand copy, which is also very cool. And it is just 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. I'll find it for Jason. Yeah, this was, uh, or the Transformers that you grabbed was from a um, collection that came in. So I don't know. I've seen, I've seen like a few issues of Black Axe around, but I don't think there's many Marvel UK books in this store. But yeah, um, 
All right, Detective Comics number 525, New Stan Edition. Very fine plus third appearance of Killer Croc, but it's also the first full appearance of Jason Todd. Just 26 bucks for a VF Plus copy. 26 bucks. Really fun book. I enjoy Death's Head. I have um, his most recent miniseries, and I have some of his earlier books. Uh, Death's Head 1 and 2. <laughs> As a kid, I really I thought he was a, a cool character. I guess just from a pure design standpoint. All right. What else? What else? G.I. Joe, number 256. Very fine near mint copy. For ten dollars. Ten dollars. <laughs> I have a whole lot of Death's Head in some UK. Very cool, Jason. Jason and Duke. Duking it out in the in the comment section. <laughs> Sorry. Ten bucks. Where are my G.I. Joe fans? It was hard to find much sold data on eBay for these G.I. Joe books, but these are the following numbers. And I wrote them down. So if that was 256, this is a jump from there. This is 295. For five bucks, David Johnson variant. I really enjoy his stuff. It's got like a a nice retro vibe to it. Oh, yeah, these are all online exclusive variants. That's what it was. Online exclusive variants. Just five bucks. Just five bucks. That was a real fun. One, two, three. Two ninety five. This minutes is going back in the box. We got two ninety six. Another Dave Johnson variant, online exclusive variant. Oh, these connect, don't they? Haha, uh -huh. that's so funny. I didn't even notice. They sure do connect. I was like, why do they have a weird border? I can't see if I'm doing it right. You'll have to take my word for it. Anyway, they connect. So that's pretty fun. 295, 296, and I also have 297. Ah, sorry, 297, Dave Johnson, variant cover right there. Two ninety seven. Two two two. All right, and the last bit of this collection was just uh, all of Eight Billion Genies and literally every single print. So, if anybody cares about Eight Billion Genies, let me know. I have issue one in its first print, its second print, its third print, its fourth print, its fifth print, and the local comic shop day edition. I have issue two, first print, second print, third print, fourth print, fifth print. I got issue three of Eight Billion Genies, first print, second print, third print, fourth print, fifth print. I got issue four, first print, second print, third print, fourth print. I got issue five, first print, second print. 
uh, and that's uh, uh, when it, it, it only was getting two printings. Oh, no. <laughs> Plain Genius first print, second print. Issue seven and issue eight. And issue eight. So mm -hmm. that's a fun one. Oh, Thanks a lot. I do enjoy... Eight billion genies. It is a pretty cool series. Also got this uh, cool cover of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TMNT two number one for just five bucks. Death's head. I gotta get like a Death's head shirt or something. They also randomly threw a Marvel Legends figure of him in a line of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Marvel Legends. Like I think it was the second movie. Yeah, I want to say it was the second movie. They did a Death's Head two. The Death Head one or two. I think it was Death's Head one. But yeah, I still have that figure. It's a really, really good figure too. All right, I'm gonna put away the Joe. Joe two fifty six. There is no interest. I'll put that away. A billion genies, aren't they? Isn't that supposed to uh, have a show coming out or something? I'm pretty sure that got picked up for a show. All right. These are not from that collection, but just some more uh, cool books that I found around the shop. This is Black Panther number 11. First fight of Shuri and Namor. This is a very fine near mint copy for 15 bucks. 15 bucks for their first fight. Zainan, how you doing, sir? Thanks for tuning in. And the following Black Panther issue is Black Panther 12. This is just five bucks. And this is also very fine near mint. Mighty Thor, issue 700, movie variant cover. This is a fine plus, the uh, top and bottom corners towards the spine there are scuffed up, unfortunately. So this is just fine plus and it's just five bucks. Cover price on this was 5.99, because it's a thick book. So just five bucks for that. Third appearance of Damian Wayne is in Batman 658. This is a fine plus copy. The spine is just tick after tick. <laughs> um, as you can kind of see there. So I said this is a fine plus, and it's just five bucks. Just five bucks. I've always loved the fact that he won't use a gun, but he will use a sword. <laughs> yeah. He's archaic like that. <laughs> Suicide Squad number 49, Origin of Oracle, and a bit of a killing joke reference on the cover there. She's holding a gun instead of a camera saying smile. Suicide Squad 49, VF plus is the grade, $8 is the price. Eight dollars is the price. Duke, do you have this whole Black Panther series? Marvel Upper Deck Platinum Cards? I don't even know what that is, Jason. I got no clue. Duke, let me know if you have that whole Black Panther run or not. That's a nice little... Minor key for Shuri. Uh, Sensational Spider-Man number one. Sensational Spider-Man number one. Very fine near mint copy for 15 bucks. This is part of a connecting cover that these variants build. This is 15 bucks for this one. <laughs> 
Oni double feature number one is a very fine slash, or sorry, a fine slash very fine copy for eight bucks. Dookie do. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Jay and Silent Bob. An Oni double feature number one for just eight bucks. Just eight bucks. And the first appearance of Bluntman and Chronic in Oni double feature number 12. Very fine plus for 15 bucks. Cool, Duke. I got you. All right. That's it for that box. Uh, now I'm going to take a walk around the store, show you guys what's going on. Thank you. All right. What's new? What's new and exciting here? Uh, we got some more books hitting the employee picks wall. We still got these uh, these cool variants up here. Um, these are all retailer uh, exclusive variants, mostly from Unknown Comics, if I'm not mistaken. This is a Strange Academy Finals number five. Very fine year mint for five bucks. Five bucks. Uh, we still got Predator vs. Wolverine number one. This is a Bjorn uh, Varen's variant that he did exclusively just 15 bucks this series has been blowing up recently predator versus wolverine but yeah this is number one so you can actually you know dig into that and read that very fun near mint for 15 um hulk number seven this is a fun variant featuring uh titan the hulk for the hulk from the donny cates stegman uh hulk volume 10 bucks for that one this is a really cool uh cover featuring madeline Pryor for hellions number three just five bucks on that one but yeah we got some cool variants up here a couple turtles books yeah there's actually a few a few good madeline covers here uh, here's another David Nakayama Tritone solid back, solid color background variant. Very fine near mint for ten bucks. Future and Cyclops. This is a really fun one. David Nakayama, real nice guy. X Men Five. The following issue. Really cool Gambit variant right there. I like that one a lot. But yeah, um, some cool variants over here. Uh, some like streetwear, Silk and Miles, issue three of Silk for 10 bucks. So, you know, we got some cool variants over there. Uh, we're currently prepping for our, um, for a sale at the shop that I will tell you guys all about right after this quick break. Don't go anywhere. your local comic shop to add Battle Quest Comics to your pull list today.
Did you know that Arthur, King of the Britons, and Monty Python and the Holy Grail was played by a famous Graham? Check out another famous Graham by following our Instagram. Twitch, it's not just what happens when you have too many energy drinks anymore. Check out our content over there, too. everybody welcome back to fat jack's comic cribs live in the experience hope everyone's doing well this is our second to last sunday show just so everyone knows we are switching to saturdays starting april 27th we're going to have shows from 4 to 5 30. that gives me a little time to close out and clean up before we close up shop at six on saturdays but uh so that means today is the second to last show uh, and then next Sunday will be the last Sunday show that the we will have on the experience. And then we'll be switching to Saturdays going forward. That'll tee us up for a nice little one-two punch on Saturdays uh, with Jam Comics. Jam Comics has a show on Saturdays as well. So we will be from 4 to 5.30. And I believe they have a 7.30 show, if I'm not mistaken. 7.30 to 9.30 sounds right to me. Um, but yeah, so a little scheduling change so you guys know. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, as always, we got a lot more books to go over. I was just about to talk about a cool sale that we got coming up. Uh, all these books you see here behind me, um, I got trade paperbacks, I got hardcovers, I got epic collections. We're doing a 25% off sale starting the 21st of April, running through the 30th, the end of the month of April. So if you guys are local to Philly, please stop on by for that sale. We're trying to get rid of a lot of the trades, a lot of the hardcovers we got, we stock, we're stock. we stocking out more so that you guys have more to pick from as well. So we got a lot more archive editions, got a lot more trades, and some good ones to pick from for sure. So 25% off, starting the 21st, running through to the 30th. All right. All right, David, take care. Sorry, I had to let David out. Um, so yeah, just a little scheduling change and a sale for you guys to know about. This is the last Invincible book that I have, and it's in the New Arrivals box. Very fine near mint copy of 133 for five bucks. But yeah, that's all the... Uh... That's all the Invincible I have left in the shop. So, yeah. Um, all right. Let's see what else we got here for you guys. Uncanny X-Men number one, Hip Hop Variant by Greg Land. Ten bucks for this copy. This is a fine copy. The black on the cover got pretty scuffed up. 
that is the reason for that price. Iron Man holding the Infinity Gauntlet. Whoa. BG Plus copy for five bucks. Oh yeah, that's the uh, the one new hip hop variant that I did find. Or that uh, one of our employees found, I should say, was Drax number one. This is a really cool uh, Kid Cudi homage. It's a very fine minus copy for just ten bucks. Just ten bucks. That's a really fun book there. And then I think I've shown this one off before, but it's a cool Snoop Dogg homage in Weird World number one. Everybody has a different uh, taping strategy, and it just drives me nuts. <laughs> So still got some hip-hop variants in stock if you guys are looking for those. I made a list of some of the ones I'm looking for. Hey, Crimson Terror, how you doing? Did you did, <laughs> did you happen to see any of the Invincibles I showed off at the beginning of the show? Because I had a lot more. So let me know because uh, I have plenty more that need a home. No, you do not. All right, then real quick, we're going to do a recap. Invincible 81, very fine near mint for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Invincible 83. Very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Invincible 85, very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Invincible 100, variant cover by Mark Silvestri. Very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Are you looking for particular issues or are you just starting your Invincible collection? Invincible 105, very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Invincible 114, very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Invincible 117, very fine near mint for eight bucks. Invincible 121, very fine near mint for five bucks. Five bucks. Invincible 124 VF Plus for five bucks. And those are all the Invincible books that I have. Let me know if you need any of those, please. And do you have these hip hops? I created a wish list for myself. The trades have titles of shows that were on 30 years before Elias was born. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the Golden Age trades. That's our rack over there. Tomb of Dracula 19, fine for 25 bucks. Mighty Thor 444 VF Plus for five bucks. Batman Adventures Comic Con box Wizard World exclusive, very fine for fifteen bucks. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, very fine near mint for eight bucks. Batman four fifty seven for eight bucks. The uh, the zero 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 error. Claim 100 and then all the five buck invincibles. Okay. 100. And the last 121 and 124 were five bucks. So those are all yours, Crimson, if that's all you like. 
then that is fine by me. <laughs> Perfect strangers, facts of life and family matter. What else we got? What else we got? All new, all different Marvel point one. Very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Thundercats number one from Wildstorm. Very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Blood Junkies on Capitol Hill from Eternity Comics. Oh, this is one and two. Okay, that's why. One and two for ten bucks. That should be in the bundles area then. We got some cleaning up to do after this. Battle of the Planets and Thundercats. What? Wow. Top Cow, Image, and Wildstorm. <laughs> Collide in number one. Ten bucks for this very fine near mint copy. Lara Croft Tomb Raider number 43. Name the cover artist. Bet you can't. Super hard. 20 bucks for that copy. A very fine near mint copy. Any crow fans? Any crow fans in the house? I'm pretty. Uh, I, I think it looks cool. The uh, the remake with uh, Bill Skarsgård and FKA Twigs, which is pretty nuts. But this is Crow Dead Time number one from Kitchen Sink Comics. This is a very fine near mint copy for ten bucks. Did you did you not hear about the Crow remake? Or are you mad that I'm excited about it? I'm, I'm not ecstatic or anything, but I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, Crow number one from IDW. Very very fine near mint for five bucks. Very fine near mint for five bucks. Marvel's Battle Books featuring the Thing. <laughs> Blueprint edition, VF plus for five bucks. Jason, which part are you confused about? Use your words. Look, I'm not ecstatic about it, but I like Bill Skarsgård and I like FKA Twigs. Have you seen this hip hop, Crimson Terror, Scarlet Witch number one? A very good fine copy for ten bucks. You know the problem with your generation, Jason, is that you <laughs> Yeah, it does it does. It definitely looks better than the sequels. Any Gotham City Sirens? Anybody need any Gotham City Sirens? I got a bunch of those. Go ahead. <laughs> you don't give you don't give you don't give it a, a shot. You don't give it a chance. That's the problem. You just see a remake and you're like, oh, that stinks. I don't think remakes in general are, are a good thing. I, you know, because it's just showing me that they don't have any original ideas. But, you know, if there's a spin to be had, if there's a twist, I'm happy. <laughs> You're right, Jay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Crimson Terror, good. Uh, Spider-Verse 11. Sorry, Amazing Spider-Man 11 from the Spider-Verse line is a very fine plus copy. Oh, sorry, very fine near mint. Excuse me, ten bucks. <laughs> oh, in in your forties, they're are they my forties or your forties? <laughs> no, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. It's interesting. I didn't even notice that that typo the first time. I my, my brain just goes right over typos. 
The trailer looks like the Joker from Suicide Squad, just longer. That's funny. That's pretty funny to me. Never mind, but you're welcome to have it. You know, I'm actually good, but thank you for asking. I do appreciate it. <laughs> this is really fun. Uh, Transformers Infestation 2, number one. For 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, Crimson, you are, you're more than welcome to build out a box with us. Um, that's always something that we can offer. Because if, if you hit the $100 mark, shipping will be free. So the rest of these, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, this is eight bucks. Uh, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's 58 bucks. Um, and then you grabbed 58 plus five is 63, 68, 78. Uh, and then 83. So you're up, you're up to 83 bucks right now. If you spend 17 more bucks, shipping can be free. So if we can work it out, I will happily hold those for you. You just let me know what you want to do. If you want to try and hit that hundred dollar mark so you get free shipping, you know, just let me know what works for you. Transformers number 19 from IDW. One in 10 black and white variant for 10 bucks. And I also have number 20, one in 10 for 10 bucks. <laughs> Some of the names of the Transformers are really funny. So you want to try and hit that $100 mark? Because that's cool with me. I think that's what you're saying. I'm just clarifying. And I apologize. I just, you know, me not, uh, me wanted to clarify comments. Uh, trail Cutter is the uh, spotlight here. This is uh, Transformers Retailer Incentive 1 in 10 variant for transformers trail cutter i'm gonna, i guess this is a one shot 10 bucks yes okay cool yeah so let's uh let's work on that let's see what else we can find you uh i still have an eye out for those hip hops um wasn't expecting to find that drax one so we never know uh what we'll find as we're cleaning up and digging here any bumblebee fans any bumblebee fans is the one in ten retailer incentive Variant cover for 10 bucks. All right. What else we got? What else we got? Ultimate Fallout issue one. Issue one. And I also have a bundle available that has every issue except for four. Uh, this is a very fine near mint copy for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. I still got. Some Metal Gear Solid books, if anyone's looking for any of those. That's a really fun one. Who made these? Yeah, IDW made these. Some Metal Gear Solid books, those are cool. Ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. Web of Spider-Man number 99. <laughs> Featuring an amazing Spidey quip. Enforce her. I don't even know her. Web of Spider Man number 99. VF Plus copy for $8. Her name is Enforcer, if you didn't get the bit. A little eel appearance in the background there. That's fun. I love eel's garish costume. I think it's so much fun. VF Plus for 8 bucks. I also got Web of Spider-Man number 24, VF Plus for just four bucks, Eddie Brock appearance in that one. Web of Spider-Man annual number two, annual number two is a very fine near mint copy for 12 bucks.
There's a note about Art Adams' New Mutants inside. So I'm going to open it up and find out just what that means. Art Adams' New Mutants. Oh, yeah, look at that. The New Mutants show up. And it's Art Adams' art. Oh, Nightwatch, let's go. I know my I know my my D tier Spidey villains. First appearance, Night Watch. Let's go. Oh, but yeah, so some Art Adams. Uh, and Nocenti. Chenti? No Chenti? Nocenti? Oops. Wrote this one. So yeah, this is a this is a really fun one for sure. Come on, get your night watch. Get your night watch here. Yeah. Superman number one from the new fifty two. George Perez variant. Very fine. For ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ah, yes, the road to Oz. Scotty Young covers and interiors in Road to Oz number four. Very fine near mint for just five bucks. Where are my Scotty Young fans at? Road to Oz number five. Very fine near mint for five bucks. Amazing Spider-Man number seven. Just at the edge of Spider-Verse, just right on the right on the edge there. Very fine near mint for ten bucks. This is the first appearance of Spider UK. Uh, <laughs> Bill and Ted's excellent comic book number one. Totally resplendent, triumphant, stellar, non heinous, non bogus, most classically excellent first issue. It's a very fine plus copy for five bucks. Bill and Ted. Another bundle in the new arrivals bins. SMH. Batman number 433 to 435. Yeah, I guess it's just those three issues. What? For just six bucks. Six bucks. The many deaths of Batman. All three parts. <laughs> Complete story arc. See if I can fit one in each ear. Perfect. <laughs> That's my Batman cosplay. Here's my Batman cosplay. Oh, yeah. Who could forget about Johnny the Homicidal Maniac? This is the fourth print from Slave Labor Graphics of number one. This is going to be a very fine plus copy for 12 bucks. You know, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. Slave Labor Graphics has some pretty crazy stuff. I'm not going to attempt to say this person's name. This is Squee. This is Squee number one, VF Plus, for five bucks. This is Squee number two, uh, very fine near mint, for five bucks. All right.
There you go, Crimson. Thank you for the claim. Let me know what you think about that very unique comic book. <laughs> Squee number four, very fine near mint for five bucks. <clears throat> X-Men versus the Agents of Atlas zombie variant. Zombie variant. Uh, this is a very fine near mint copy for just five bucks. Uh, the big book. I don't think there was any one big book. <laughs> I think the most expensive I got was like 75 bucks today and do claim that the first uh, Wolverine Deadpool fight. Um. Yeah, squee. Are those invaders in my? Oh, I recognize the artist. Is that what you're talking about? Because it's the artist. <laughs> I definitely will. I will definitely look up Johnny and also squee. Marvel Zombies Supreme, number one. This is a really fun Zombies uh, miniseries. This is a very fine near mint copy for 15 bucks. It says very fine near mint, but I think it looks even better. But anyway, 15 bucks, Marvel Zombies Supreme. I mean, this is definitely the Invaders in my... I'll do my research. I'll do my research. Uh, okay, Action Comics, number 600. 80 page giant right here. This is a very fine near mint copy for 12 bucks. Downtime is my middle name, Jay. <laughs> Space Age number one from Arcana Comics. Very fine near mint for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Space Age number one. All right, I'll just finish the Space Age and then uh, let me know the times for uh, tomorrow's EXP programming so I can give a shout out. Oh, you, you just did. Space Age number two, very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Space Age number three, very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Space Age 4, very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Space Age 6. Uh, so we don't have 5. That's why this is not a complete set. That stinks. Very fine near mint for 10 bucks. Anywho, the experience always has amazing programming for you guys to watch. Tomorrow we got some talk shows. We got uh, Talking Shop with Miss Jen at 5 EST, 4 Central. We got Comic Collectibles at 6 EST, 5 Central. And then Devil's Advocates at 10.30 EST, 9.30 Central. So there's plenty of content to tune into, guys, on the experience when you're not here. Um, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, please give our eBay shop a visit. Um, it really helps us out here. We've been uploading stuff like crazy the past week. Um, we got a lot of cool stuff on our eBay, some rarities, some sealed Omnibuy, uh, some stuff you don't, you know, see, some non-run-of-the-mill stuff. Jay just linked it right there, Fat Jack's Comic Crypt on eBay. Uh, like we said, like I said, we're always updating that page, so please give it a look. Um, yeah, uh, what else, what else, what else? Like I said, we got a, a trade and hardcover sale coming up on the 21st. It's 25% off uh, in-store purchases of old trades and hardcovers. Um, please hit us up on social media. Please uh, you know, hit me up uh, via my email if you need to, fjccshow at gmail.com. Um, we've been processing a lot of collections uh, via email recently, which has been really helpful to everyone involved, um, You know, meaning that I get to uh, see what I'm getting into. Um, people send me, you know, spreadsheets of their collections uh, so I can get an idea, I can let them know. So if you guys have any collections you're looking to get rid of, always happy to help you out. Um, always new collections coming in the shop, which is just great uh, for everyone. And um, 
yeah, uh, if you guys are missing any back issues, you can always hit me up off the clock, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We got all the social medias, Fat Jack's Comic Crypt. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got to say. Uh, I will send invoices out right after the show. Thank you, everyone, for the claims today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, like I said, next Sunday will be the final Sunday show. And then we will have a Saturday show on the 27th. And from there on out, it'll be Saturday shows 4 to 5.30. Okay? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we will see you guys next week. That's right. Fat Jam Saturdays. That's what we're going to do. Um, Jam Comics has a Saturday show from 7.30 to 9.30 on Saturdays as well. So you'll have two great shows on Saturdays. And uh, you can take Sunday off. You can take Sunday to watch old experience content. You can do whatever you like with your Sunday. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Everyone have a lovely weekend and a lovely week. See you guys next time. Join the party. Head over to our link tree to find all the links for everywhere the experience is all the time. Thank you.